20 Stars Who Quit Acting After Hitting It Big, Part 3 Welcome to our channel. Today, we explore the intriguing stories of nine stars who, despite their massive success, left the spotlight behind. Ever wondered why these celebrities walked away from fame? Join us as we uncover their surprising reasons and reveal what they're doing now. Stay tuned and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more fascinating insights. Audrey Hepburn Audrey Hepburn, an icon of cinema and fashion, became a legend thanks to classic films like Breakfast at Tiffany's, Roman Holiday, and My Fair Lady. Born on May 4, 1929, she built a dazzling career before leaving Hollywood to focus on raising her children. Her sons, Luca and Sean, recall that Hepburn always strived to provide them with a normal life, far removed from the glitz and glamour of the entertainment industry. They lived together in a Swiss farmhouse, where they made jam from their own fruit and engaged in outdoor activities, free from the pressures of their mother's fame. In addition to being a devoted mother, Audrey Hepburn was renowned for her significant contributions to humanitarian work. During her hiatus from acting, she was actively involved with UNICEF, becoming a symbol of compassion and philanthropy. In 1992, Hepburn was awarded the Presidential Medal of Freedom by President George H.W. Bush in recognition of her tireless efforts to improve the lives of children worldwide. Audrey Hepburn passed away on January 20, 1993 at the age of 63, after a long battle with colon cancer. Her legacy is not only marked by her timeless films, but also by the profound humanitarian values she embodied. Audrey Hepburn is remembered as an icon of beauty, talent, and kindness, continuing to inspire generations long after her passing. If you find this video not interesting enough, hit the like button to save it and watch it later. Bridget Fonda Bridget Fonda, a member of the renowned Fonda family, made her mark in Hollywood with a series of successful films in the late 1980s and 1990s. Born on January 27, 1964, she is the granddaughter of Oscar winner Henry Fonda, niece of actress and fitness icon Jane Fonda, and daughter of Golden Globe winner Peter Fonda. Bridget's career flourished with roles in thrillers like Single White Female and romantic comedies such as Singles and It Could Happen to You, consistently delivering memorable performances. In 2003, Fonda married composer Danny Elfman, and her focus shifted towards family life. She became a dedicated stepmother to Elfman's children from a previous marriage and welcomed a son of her own in 2005. This new chapter led Bridget to step away from the public eye, choosing to prioritize her family over her acting career. Her decision to embrace a quieter life has kept her largely out of the spotlight ever since. Despite her absence from the screen, Bridget Fonda's impact on cinema remains significant. Her choice to leave Hollywood at the height of her career underscores her commitment to personal fulfillment over professional achievement. Today, she continues to lead a private life, rarely appearing in public, yet her legacy in film endures through her impressive body of work. Ginny Wright Ginny Wright began her acting journey in off-Broadway productions before transitioning to supporting roles in the 1980s. She appeared in notable films such as The World According to Garp, Pink Floyd's The Wall, and the made-for-television movie The Executioner's Song. These roles helped her gain more exposure, and she soon found herself cast in popular films like St. Elmo's Fire and Out of Bounds. Despite her talent, Wright often found herself typecast in supporting roles, limiting her opportunities to break into leading lady status. Throughout the 1990s, Ginny continued to work in the industry, taking on roles in Queen's Logic, Young Guns 2, and The Lawnmower Man. However, her career trajectory began to wane, and she gradually disappeared from the Hollywood scene. Her departure from acting was not widely publicized, and she faded into relative obscurity compared to her peers. 
the lack of leading roles and the competitive nature of the industry likely contributed to her decision to step away. Currently, Ginny Wright remains a somewhat enigmatic figure, remembered fondly by fans of her early work. While she never achieved the same level of fame as some of her contemporaries, her contributions to film and television in the 1980s and 1990s are still appreciated. Her career serves as a reminder of the challenges many actors face in the pursuit of long-term success in Hollywood. Meg Ryan Meg Ryan, born on November 19, 1961, rose to prominence as one of America's most beloved actresses, especially known for her roles in romantic comedies. She began her acting career while still in college, initially taking on acting projects as a side hustle. However, as opportunities poured in, she decided to drop out and pursue acting full-time. Her charm and on-screen presence quickly made her a favorite in films like When Harry Met Sally, Sleepless in Seattle, and You've Got Mail. Throughout the late 1980s and 1990s, Ryan's career soared, cementing her status as the queen of romantic comedies. Despite her massive success, by 2019, Ryan admitted that she had lost her curiosity for acting and wanted to explore other aspects of life. She revealed that acting was never her childhood dream, and that she yearned for a more balanced existence. This shift in perspective led her to focus more on producing and working behind the camera, allowing her to prioritize her family and personal interests. In recent years, Meg Ryan has taken a step back from the limelight, choosing to live a quieter life away from the intense scrutiny of Hollywood. Her transition from rom-com queen to director and producer highlights her versatility and desire for growth. Though she no longer appears on screen as frequently, her influence and legacy in the film industry continue to be felt, inspiring new generations of actors and filmmakers. Greta Garbo Greta Garbo, born on September 18, 1905, was a Swedish-American actress who became one of Hollywood's most iconic stars. Known for her enigmatic beauty and captivating performances, Garbo starred in 31 films over a 20-year career. She quickly rose to fame with silent films like Flesh and the Devil and successfully transitioned to talkies with hits such as Anna Christie and Grand Hotel. Despite her immense popularity, Garbo was known for her reclusive nature and desire for privacy. In 1941, Garbo's career took an unexpected turn with the release of Two-Faced Woman. The film was critically panned, and the negative reception significantly impacted Garbo. Disillusioned with Hollywood and increasingly dissatisfied with the industry's demands, she decided to retire at the age of 36. For the remainder of her life, Garbo lived in relative seclusion, avoiding the public eye and declining any attempts to lure her back to the screen. Garbo passed away on April 15, 1990, at the age of 84. Her legacy as a film icon endures, and she is remembered not only for her impressive body of work, but also for her mysterious persona that captivated audiences worldwide. Garbo's decision to leave Hollywood at the height of her career continues to fascinate and inspire, solidifying her status as a timeless legend in cinema history. Diane Lane Diane Lane, born on January 22, 1965, has enjoyed a long and varied career in Hollywood, known for her versatility and talent. She began acting at a young age, making her film debut in A Little Romance when she was just 14. Her early work in films like The Outsiders and Rumble Fish showcased her potential, leading to a steady rise in her career. By the 1980s and 1990s, Lane had established herself as a formidable actress with roles in movies such as The Cotton Club and Unfaithful. Despite her success, Lane experienced some personal challenges and chose to step away from the spotlight occasionally to focus on her personal life. Her dedication to her craft never wavered, and she made a strong comeback with critically acclaimed performances in films like Under the Tuscan Sun and Cinema Verite. 
Lane's ability to navigate both dramatic and lighter roles has earned her a respected place in the industry, with a career that spans several decades. Today, Diane Lane continues to be a prominent figure in Hollywood, balancing her professional work with personal interests. She remains active in both film and television, recently starring in series like Why the Last Man. Lane's enduring appeal and talent have solidified her as a beloved actress, with a career marked by resilience, versatility, and a commitment to her craft. Congratulations on completing one three of this exploration journey. If you enjoyed this video, please comment one. Otherwise, comment zero. We will use this feedback to evaluate and improve our content. Thank you. Carrie Henn. Carrie Henn, born on May 7, 1976, is best known for her memorable role as Newt in the 1986 sci-fi classic Aliens. Despite having no prior acting experience, Hen's performance alongside Sigourney Weaver earned her critical acclaim and a place in cinematic history. Her portrayal of the resilient young girl in a hostile alien environment remains one of the most iconic child performances in film. After Aliens, Hen made the unconventional choice to step away from acting entirely. She opted to focus on her education and eventually pursued a career far removed from Hollywood. Hen graduated from California State University Stanislaus with a degree in liberal studies and became an elementary school teacher. Her decision to lead a normal life, away from the limelight, speaks volumes about her grounded nature and desire for a stable, fulfilling career outside of acting. Now, Carrie Hen is remembered fondly by fans of Aliens and often participates in conventions and interviews, sharing her experiences from the film. She has embraced her unique place in pop culture history while maintaining a private and quiet life as an educator. Hen's story is a testament to the importance of personal choice and finding one's true calling beyond early fame. Taylor Momsen Taylor Momsen, born on July 26, 1993, first gained recognition as a child actress, most notably for her role as Cindy Lou Who in How the Grinch Stole Christmas. She continued her acting career with a major role in the popular TV series Gossip Girl, where she played Jenny Humphrey. Momsen's portrayal of the rebellious teenager earned her a significant following and cemented her status as a rising star in Hollywood. However, as Momsen matured, her interests shifted towards music, leading to a dramatic career change. She founded the rock band The Pretty Reckless in 2009, taking on the role of lead singer and songwriter. Her passion for music and desire to express herself creatively led her to leave acting behind to fully commit to her band. The Pretty Reckless gained considerable success, releasing several albums and touring internationally. As of 2024, Taylor Momsen is known more for her musical achievements than her acting past. She has found fulfillment and success in the music industry, with her band's distinct sound and strong following. Momsen's transition from actress to rock star highlights her versatility and dedication to pursuing her true passions, proving that reinvention is possible and rewarding. Rene Russo Rene Russo, born on February 17, 1954, started her career as a successful fashion model before transitioning to acting in the late 1980s. Her striking looks and undeniable talent quickly landed her roles in popular films like Lethal Weapon 3, In the Line of Fire, and Get Shorty. Russo's ability to balance beauty and strength in her performances made her a standout in action and drama genres throughout the 1990s. In the early 2000s, Russo decided to step back from her flourishing career to focus on her family. She took a hiatus from acting, dedicating her time to raising her daughter and maintaining a stable home life. Despite her absence from the screen, Russo's impact on Hollywood remained significant, with her past performances continuing to resonate with audiences and critics alike. Rene Russo made a notable return to acting in the 2010s, with acclaimed roles in films like Thor and Nightcrawler. 
her comeback was marked by a maturity and depth that showcased her growth as an actress. Currently, Russo continues to act, choosing roles that align with her personal and professional evolution, proving that her talent and charisma are timeless. Gene Hackman Gene Hackman, born on January 30, 1930, is one of Hollywood's most esteemed actors, known for his versatile roles and commanding presence. With a career spanning over five decades, Hackman starred in numerous classics, including The French Connection, Unforgiven, and The Royal Tenenbaums. His performances earned him two Academy Awards and multiple Golden Globes, solidifying his place in film history. In 2004, at the age of 74, Hackman announced his retirement from acting, citing the physical and mental toll the profession had taken on him. He relocated to New Mexico, seeking a quieter life away from the hustle and bustle of Hollywood. Hackman shifted his creative focus to writing, co-authoring several novels that allowed him to explore new storytelling avenues without the pressures of the film industry. Gene Hackman's departure from the screen did little to diminish his legacy. He remains a beloved figure in cinema, respected for his vast body of work and dedication to his craft. His transition to a peaceful retirement, filled with writing and personal pursuits, underscores his multifaceted talent and enduring influence on the arts. Larry Wilcox Larry Wilcox, born on August 8, 1947, gained widespread fame for his role as Officer John Baker in the hit television series Ships, which aired from 1977 to 1983. His portrayal of the clean-cut, motorcycle-riding cop made him a household name and endeared him to fans across the nation. Despite the show's success, tensions between Wilcox and co-star Eric Estrada were well publicized, leading to Wilcox's departure from the series before it ended. After leaving Chips, Wilcox shifted his focus to various ventures, including charity work and business investments. He became involved in promoting organizations like Cops for Kids and acted as a celebrity spokesman. Additionally, Wilcox explored the world of production, contributing to projects such as the Ray Bradbury Theater and the TV movie Death of a Centerfold, the Dorothy Stratton story. His entrepreneurial spirit kept him busy and diversified his career beyond acting. In recent years, Wilcox's focus has been on investment opportunities, though not without controversy. In 2010, he pled guilty to securities fraud, a setback in his post-acting endeavors. Despite this, Larry Wilcox remains a memorable figure from the golden era of television, known for his role in Chips and his varied pursuits thereafter. Ian Mitchell Smith Ian Mitchell Smith, born on June 29, 1967, is best known for his role as Wyatt Donnelly in the 1985 cult classic Weird Science. Starting his career as a ballet dancer, Smith stumbled into acting, landing his first role in the film Daniel. His performance in Weird Science alongside Anthony Michael Hall cemented his place in 1980s pop culture, earning him a dedicated fan base. Despite his early success, Smith chose to leave acting behind in the early 1990s to pursue a different path. He turned his attention to academia, earning a PhD in English literature and a master's degree in medieval studies. Smith is now a respected professor of medieval literature and culture at California State University, Long Beach. His shift from Hollywood to higher education highlights his diverse talents and interests. Though Ian Mitchell Smith occasionally revisits his acting roots, such as his guest appearance on The Goldbergs in 2017, he remains committed to his academic career. His journey from child actor to professor showcases a unique and successful transition, illustrating that personal fulfillment can be found in unexpected places. Jack Nicholson Jack Nicholson born on April 22, 1937, is a legendary actor known for his wide-ranging roles and charismatic on-screen presence. Over his illustrious career, he starred in over 70 films and received 12 Oscar nominations, making him the most nominated male actor in history. 
Nicholson's performances in iconic films such as One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest, The Shining, and As Good As It Gets have left an indelible mark on cinema, showcasing his versatility and depth as an actor. In addition to his film success, Nicholson was known for his off-screen persona, often seen courtside at Los Angeles Lakers games, and living a life marked by his love for art and sports. Despite never officially announcing his retirement, Nicholson hasn't appeared in any films since 2010, leading to widespread speculation about his health. Reports suggest that he has been dealing with dementia, which has contributed to his absence from the public eye. Jack Nicholson's legacy is one of profound impact on the film industry. His contributions to cinema are celebrated by fans and peers alike, with his performances continuing to inspire new generations of actors. Even in retirement, his influence remains strong, cementing his status as one of Hollywood's greatest actors. Terrence Malick Terrence Malick, born on November 30, 1943, is an esteemed film director, screenwriter, and producer known for his philosophical and visually stunning films. Malick's career began with the critically acclaimed Badlands in 1973, followed by Days of Heaven in 1978, both of which established him as a distinctive voice in American cinema. His work is characterized by its poetic storytelling, lush cinematography, and exploration of existential themes. After the release of Days of Heaven, Malick took an extended hiatus from filmmaking, disappearing from the public eye for nearly two decades. His return with The Thin Red Line in 1998 was met with great anticipation and critical praise, marking a new chapter in his career. Malick continued to create thought-provoking films such as The New World, The Tree of Life, and Night of Cups, each reflecting his unique vision and artistic integrity. Terence Malick's reclusive nature and dedication to his craft have earned him a reputation as a true auteur. His films are celebrated for their meditative qualities and deep philosophical inquiries, making him one of the most influential directors of his generation. Despite his limited public appearances, Malick's work continues to captivate audiences and critics, solidifying his legacy in the annals of film history. Peter Fonda Peter Fonda, born on February 23, 1940, was a key figure in the counterculture movement of the 1960s and 1970s, best known for his iconic role in the groundbreaking film Easy Rider. As the son of Hollywood legend Henry Fonda and brother of actress Jane Fonda, Peter carved out his own niche in the industry with his rebellious spirit and unique acting style. His portrayal of Wyatt, a free-spirited biker, not only earned him critical acclaim, but also defined a generation's quest for freedom and self-discovery. Fonda's career spanned several decades, with notable performances in films like The Hired Hand, Uli's Gold, and The Limey. His work in Uli's Gold earned him an Academy Award nomination for Best Actor, showcasing his depth and versatility as an actor. Beyond acting, Peter Fonda also explored directing and producing, further cementing his place in Hollywood as a multi-talented artist. Peter Fonda passed away on August 16, 2019, at the age of 79, leaving behind a legacy of influential films and memorable performances. His contribution to cinema, particularly in shaping the indie film movement, remains significant. Fonda's adventurous spirit and dedication to his craft continue to inspire filmmakers and actors alike, ensuring his impact on the industry endures. John Hughes John Hughes, born on February 18, 1950, was a prolific filmmaker and screenwriter who defined the teen comedy genre in the 1980s. His unique ability to capture the angst, humor, and challenges of adolescence resonated deeply with audiences. Hughes wrote and directed a series of iconic films, including Sixteen Candles, The Breakfast Club, and Ferris Bueller's Day Off, which became cultural touchstones for a generation. Hughes's films were known for their relatable characters, witty dialogue, 
and heartfelt storytelling. He had a knack for blending humor with genuine emotion, making his movies timeless classics. Beyond teen comedies, Hughes also wrote successful family films, such as Home Alone and Planes, Trains, and Automobiles, showcasing his versatility as a writer and director. John Hughes unexpectedly passed away on August 6, 2009, at the age of 59, due to a heart attack. Despite his untimely death, his influence on cinema remains profound. Hughes's work continues to be celebrated for its honesty, humor, and insight into the human experience. His films are a testament to his talent and enduring legacy, cherished by audiences of all ages. David Schwimmer. David Schwimmer, born on November 2, 1966, gained international fame for his role as Ross Geller on the hit television series Friends. The show, which aired from 1994 to 2004, became a cultural phenomenon, and Schwimmer's portrayal of the lovable, often awkward paleontologist made him a household name. His performance earned him critical acclaim, including a Screen Actors Guild Award and several Emmy nominations. After Friends, Schwimmer sought to diversify his career, exploring roles in film, theater, and directing. He appeared in movies such as Six Days, Seven Nights, and Picking Up the Pieces, and made a notable return to the stage in productions like The Kane Mutiny, Court Martial. As a director, he found success with films like Run Fat Boy Run and several television episodes, including work on Little Britain USA and Growing Up Fisher. In addition to his acting and directing endeavors, David Schwimmer has been active in social and philanthropic causes. He is a co-founder of the Looking Glass Theatre Company in Chicago, which focuses on innovative ensemble-based theatre. His commitment to both his craft and community work has solidified his status as a respected figure in the entertainment industry, continuing to influence and inspire. Ronald Reagan Ronald Reagan, born on February 6, 1911, began his career as a Hollywood actor before transitioning into a prominent political figure. As an actor, Reagan starred in over 50 films, including notable titles like Newt Rockin, All-American, and King's Row. His charming on-screen presence and All-American persona made him a beloved figure in Hollywood during the 1930s and 1940s. Reagan's political career took off when he became the governor of California, serving from 1967 to 1975. His success as governor set the stage for his presidential ambitions. In 1980, he was elected the 40th President of the United States, serving two terms from 1981 to 1989. His presidency was marked by significant events such as the end of the Cold War, the Reaganomics economic policies, and a strong stance against the Soviet Union. Ronald Reagan passed away on June 5, 2004, at the age of 93. His legacy as both an actor and a politician remains influential. Reagan is remembered for his charismatic leadership, effective communication skills, and the significant impact he had on both American politics and global affairs. His journey from Hollywood to the White House is a testament to his multifaceted career and enduring influence on American culture and politics. Sean Connery Sean Connery, born on August 25, 1930, in Edinburgh, Scotland, is best remembered as the original James Bond, a role that catapulted him to international stardom. Connery portrayed the suave British spy in seven films from 1962's Dr. No to 1983's Never Say, Never Again. His portrayal of Bond set the standard for the character, combining charm, toughness, and sophistication. Connery's performance earned him a lasting legacy as the quintessential 007. Beyond James Bond, Connery had a versatile and distinguished career in film. He starred in a variety of genres, showcasing his range as an actor. Some of his notable films include The Man Who Would Be King, The Name of the Rose, and Indiana Jones, and The Last Crusade. 
1988, he won an Academy Award for Best Supporting Actor for his role in The Untouchables. Connery continued to captivate audiences with his distinctive voice and commanding presence throughout his career. Sean Connery retired from acting in the early 2000s, choosing to live a quieter life. He passed away on October 31, 2020, at the age of 90. Connery's contributions to cinema have left an indelible mark, and he remains a beloved figure in the film industry. His legacy endures through his memorable performances and the timeless appeal of the characters he brought to life on screen. Thank you all for being among those who stayed till the end of the video. Comment too so we can see you. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the Famous People channel for more insightful content. We appreciate your participation and look forward to sharing more engaging stories with you in our upcoming videos. Goodbye!